Alright YouTube, this is another Fire Phone video where I'm going to show you the Fire Phone running some Google services. So you can see the dynamic uh, lock screen right there, the back of the phone. And uh, yeah, I got a lot of comments uh, on my last video, well, not a lot, but three comments asking about Google services and performance and uh, I just thought I'd put together a video of uh, the phone running a few Google services so let's get started so yeah one of them one of the comments I had was does this phone run YouTube uh, yes it does launch YouTube And I'll search for MKBHD. Awesome dude. Love his tech videos. Right there. Let's see. We'll just pick any video and watch it. Back. His Nexus 9 review. There we go. I was watching this earlier. See? So there you see, it's running it, you can pause it, um, you can swipe it away, pick another video, this one has an ad on it, unfortunately, skip that. So yeah, I have seen no problem so far with YouTube running on the Fire Phone, so that's good. No, no issues there. Uh, so, there we go. And, yeah, so, you'll notice I put a Nexus logo on my Fire Phone because, by default, the Fire Phone cannot have a wallpaper on it. So I put these Nexus logos on the screens, on these app screens, so they're not as barren. Uh, the reason why you can't have a wallpaper on Fire Phone with any launcher is that the Fire Phone by default with its carousel design does not support a wallpaper, so you can't have a wallpaper on the Fire Phone. It's just from my knowledge it's not possible I ran the AV8 launcher and that does support wallpapers but then after a while the phone freaks out and it just freezes up and then the app breaks and it's unusable and then you have to uninstall and reinstall it so there's really no way to get this phone to have a wallpaper except for these widgets these Nexus widgets alright um, next uh, we'll try uh, Okay, Google on the Fire Phone. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, Google. Xbox One. So, if you can see that. Let's see, get this in focus. Okay, Google. PlayStation 4. So, yeah, it runs, it's running, um, well, let's see, let's do another one. Uh, okay, Google, weather in Menlo Park. Okay, I didn't. Okay, Google, weather in Menlo Park. Yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, Google Now works. Um, you can see, yeah, it works. There's no issues, no real lag. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes there's lag in these screens, which kind of sucks, but I don't know if there's any way to get around that. 
um, Gmail works. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, Play Store, I guess. All right, guys, uh, that's the end of my video. Uh, I wasn't able to test Google Maps or cell reception or anything like that with this phone because I haven't gotten a SIM card yet for it or a plan. So I'm going to try to do that in the next day or so, day or two, hopefully tomorrow, if I can get off work at a reasonable time and pick up a uh, SIM for this phone. I will pick one up from T-Mobile and then I can test it um, and see how Google Maps and other things run, the, you know, the 4G LTE speeds and stuff like that. So I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks.